Aloha, dear sweet family of light. It is me, Lisa Transcendence Brown, and I'm going to hope uh, that my sound card does not hang and that we get through this video um, and deliver the message uh, that um, I came to share today. So, many ask me what's coming, and the answer is always the same. It's always going to be more. It's always going to be more polarity. It's always going to be more unification. It's going to be more living from the heart. It's going to be understanding more, finding more of our humanity, coming together. Um, it's going to be more of everything. And for the being that still exists, where their outside world drives the reality, then a lot of the times, because they are not aware of how the journey works from the inside, um, there is much devastation that occurs um, to get them to open up to a different way of existing and be, which goes way beyond the old ways um, that we used to live and exist from. We will always work out all of the polarities inside. We will watch them play out in the outside world until that polarity goes. Now, it never always goes. There's always something of polarity inside of us, and we work through it as it comes up. But it's a lot smaller than it used to be, and it's an energetic thing. Uh, there's not a lot of emotion or fuel uh, behind it because you will have cleared your... I know, the video card hung. I apologize. You will have cleared your physical body of where it was held in your cellular memory. Um, and this occurs with your own expansion of consciousness and your own way of existence here. Now, I speak of this from a way of existence because this is not a tap in and then go on about our day kind of thing. This is living it fully in every moment and being it and not accepting or allowing or playing the old ways of consciousness anymore. There are many ways to do the journey. To coming back to remembering who we truly are. There are many ways of becoming source in the physical here. Back to a place of divine essence, sacred love and the power merged together as one and no separation between those two all of the separation is ours there is absolutely nothing in the outside world to us anymore that world is our creation and it's in response to us and the vibration we hold right now the difference is those that have come to go inward those who have been driven inward by the physical occurrences in their world. Those who choose to go inward are choosing the way of the heart. Now, majority of us, many of us, we need proof outside. We gather knowledge. And all of this knowledge is, is, is to activate us to what we already hold inside. Um, some of it will appease our human aspect mind and the proof that we need through that knowledge. And some of it is by way of physical experiences uh, to give us the proof that we need because most, many don't understand that the outside world is our proof. Everything physical, tangible is our proof. Um, now, for the being that isn't willing to listen, isn't willing to open up, isn't willing to connect to that space inside, isn't willing to see themselves fully as they are, isn't willing to deal um, with what they see, isn't willing to transcend it, isn't willing to be light and let all of the old lower self aspects um, we let them go, but we bring them inward. We love ourselves fully. 
all of our aspects as one. We don't separate off and leave that aspect behind. That, that's not how the journey is done. Now, for a while, we might do that because we're building our power as a higher self aspect. But then we have to go through many other aspects as well. We go through our inner child, our, our inner teenager. We go through growing up um, as divine sacred beings and, and becoming adults, if you will. This is the birth of us from the inside out. And all of these things stepping into our power again, we have to go through all of this in a very different way. Um, when the fifth dimension opens, that childlike wonder inside of us emerges and our hearts wide open and it's beautiful and magnificent and we want to play. Uh, but then we have to move into the other aspects of our journeys and our purposes here. And there are many of them. And we are to do all of them, not just one. And the human aspect of us will see one thing. Um, it will say that this is the only answer to this. This is the proof. This is the way. Instead of seeing that all of these are, these are all our answers. These, this is all of our proof. It's, it's all of these ways. And we're to integrate all of those ways into our way. We make it ours. And, and we turn it into the journey that we want for us. We use the information externally, if we choose, to validate that what we that which we already know, uh, but we don't stop there, and we don't follow another. We don't give credit to another for being the way, having the only answer or the best way. I've seen a lot late, lately, and, and I'm always amazed at what I see when I see this. Um, it is the measurement, the comparison. Um, for the being that's looking at themselves, they're comparing themselves to, to that outside. And, and they're measuring themselves up as not good enough or enough. Um, and then you have looking at that outside, and this is better than that. Or then you have the being that steps into a teacher role, if you will. And then it's my way is better than theirs, or their way isn't as good as mine. And, and you have all of this stuff going on when none of that is true. They're all perfect. Every way is. It's, it's we're to take all of them and we're to combine them into one. And they're all supposed to be a little bit of this one and a little bit of that one and a whole lot of this one and a whole lot of that one. And we put them together. This is alchemy. We take a little bit of everything and we combine the whatever that little part is with another one. And we, we create our own way um, for us that works. And it's going to be a little bit of this and a little bit of that. It's not going to be all um, based upon one thing. Um, and this is what I did as well. I took a little bit of everything and I made my own. And then I turned around and I shared my own with everybody um, that resonated to, to come to be in a space that wanted to do the journey from the inside out, that wanted to go inward and bypass the human need for proof and suffering um, that wanted to bypass the old ways and, and jump huge into an entirely new existence from the inside out, but yet taking all of that knowledge, taking all of that information and integrating all of that into our being. But remembering from the inside out how all of this is done as the entire universe, not watching the universe and trying to figure it out. We're no longer seekers, but we are, everything is used as an activation of our own knowledge. Um, and so our, how things work here is very different. Everything I see, everything I experience, it is, it's an activation for me. Um, everything I encounter is an activation of some way. Now, I prefer the activations that assist me um, in the most beautiful ways versus the activations or triggers um, that, that, that cause me to have not as awesome of a, a ride, if you will. Um, so we choose how we want the journey. Um, if we go through our hearts and we move to 
sacred space and we come through the divine feminine aspect while incorporating our divine masculine and the knowledge all in one space it's a whole lot easier than if we're running around seeking proof because proof to the to the human is something happening outside to push them in a direction to understand um, it's 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 how the experience works it's how our universe works is if we go in through the inside we feel our truth we see our truth we see everything as it is and we utilize all that information and we step from that space we function from that space of power and love while we love ourselves in every aspect of ourselves and we utilize all of our aspects as one here no more separation there is no comparison it doesn't matter if we have been doing this for one day or one year or 30 years in the human aspect physical way the amount of knowledge we hold is through light it's what courses through our veins when you hold light you hold the knowledge you hold the understanding you become that again um, we don't seek anymore we don't have to um, it is very different existence here so it is important to understand what you're feeding and, and where you're putting your energy and your own perceptions of your own beliefs when you're comparing um, yourself inside to that out there when you're comparing yourself to something out there you get very small you become human again you're trying to measure up and we don't do that um, while at the same and uh, we do look at things in a different way and we look at uh, what resonates with us uh, more than something else and we pick that one and it's based upon the way we feel and if we're only feeding our logical mind our human aspect mind then we're missing the whole point um, now we can go through the logical way and we can go through all that knowledge to arrive back at the place of going inside and dealing with it all and bringing it up it's all going to bring us back to the same place it's just the journey we choose um, the human aspect cannot see all the gifts that are around them they don't understand that when you raise your vibrational frequency all that knowledge is inside and you got to go to sleep that when you're in light it raises your frequency you're absorbing through your energy field those and activating those geometric codes uh, that are in your field that knowledge that light and when your frequency raises your human has to shut down it's light activations okay I know my cameras uh, brothers apologies again I'm working on it all of these activations these light activations every day these bombardments of light are to move everybody into higher frequency bandwidths of existences with the physical body and everything that was inside the physical body all of that programming will be activated to emerge by way of transmission of that frequency comes through the human mind as thought now we listen to the thoughts and we read through them and we and we realize uh, what's in tune what's out of tune what what feeds our spirit what's of the old what's an old program what's a new program what we uh, what we're doing and, and it's a different way of existence here so my way of guiding and assisting others is to share the knowledge um, from the inside out of how all of this works whereas another will be oh I don't want that yet I'm not ready to go inside I want a different way I want to go read a book on this and then I'll come back 
And, and it doesn't really matter how we choose it. It's going to be our perfect journey for us. All we do is choose for us what works. And when others operate at the same frequency or in that same space and their heart is open and they're willing to do the work, we all come together and we do it together. And those that are not ready yet, they go off and do it their way. Meanwhile, we always have the capability to share the knowledge and, and activate everybody that comes into our energy field. Um, they don't even know that they're receiving. They don't even know that they're being raised vibrationally. They have no idea. They just know that they have to go off and go to sleep. They just know that it doesn't make sense and their vibration's raising and, and they're getting really high and dizzy and floating. And they have no idea that just by being in your space, our space, that that is their activation. That is uh, the, what they need and to move them into a different phase. Now, when one is exposed to a lot of light, then everything in the outside world um, starts to shift and change. And so a lot of people, they don't want to be exposed to light because they know the world is about to change and they will avoid it at all costs. Uh, the human aspect doesn't want to go inward. They do not want to love all of their aspects um, yet. Um, something uh, will occur uh, to bring them to that space. And the outside world is a solidified hologram. It is our illusion, every one of us. A and the illusion that is present in any given moment is the one that's transmitting from inside of us. A and it's going to be based upon what we're still holding at any given time. That's why it's so important to understand how all of this works. Because when you understand how all of this works, it is so much easier um, to navigate the journey and to move through it from a place of power and from a place of love um, for yourself and, and assist all others from the same space too. Um, so pay attention to when you're comparing and, and when you are um, making your way better or another way is better than another and just understand that is your perception of what's better that is your perception um and another's perception will be different um it will be based upon what they need for them um we don't measure here and we don't say that this is the one way that's the human's way it's all of them we open up we expand so fully that that we utilize absolutely everything in every moment we have access to a multitude of everything and we don't limit ourselves anymore so i hope this helps um there is a lot going on and this will continue and it will be more and more and more and more in each polarity as everyone comes to exist in the higher frequency bandwidths, it's going to be more amazing, more abundant, more awesome. And it's more work for us um, because we have a lot to do here. We have a lot of sharing. We have a lot of reaching. We have a lot of this knowledge that we hold is huge. And our job is to share the knowledge and help others come to access the knowledge inside themselves as well we are here to empower each one we are here to step into the new we're not here to wait for somebody else to do it but it also means doing the inner journey with every part of us and embracing everything and it is supporting each other and removing the struggle um, that used to be there um, just for me I dedicate everything I've got and I work really hard somebody made the comment the other day that their perception was that I sleep all day um, well, no, I work all day. I pay a lot of money to have the resources to do this work, to be in service and, and teach and share and reach and get the word out to help others have an easier way of doing things. And, and many don't understand how much it takes to do this. But you know what? It doesn't matter because our universe always provides for us and we we let go of the need to worry about such things we get busy we get in service and, and we get out there 
whether it be going out in the physical world. And yes, every one of us have to do this, especially when we've done the journey off by ourselves, which is necessary. Then it's time to get out in the world. And, and it's time to connect with others from a heart space. And it's time to be that angel. And it's time to be that higher self and that guide. And, and use everything as a trigger to dig everything up that's left within us that can trigger us. So that can, we can work from a space. Uh, without having to go back into the old ways as much anymore. Um, we are aware and when something presents, we work through it while we're doing everything else all at the same time. After, and I had to do this too, um, I had to go through all of the phases, all of the inner work, and I had to pull away and I had to work on myself for several years and, and cut everything out until I built um, that power inside until I connected as source inside and I held the frequency of source all the time without without stepping out of that space and that place anymore. Um, then it was you're to feed on the ground. You're to show people how to do this and that's what I started doing a couple years ago. It is walking on new earth as new earth as this new way of existence and being and being pure. And being in service 24-7. It doesn't mean you don't have challenges. We have challenges. But we utilize the challenges for the purposes they present. And we keep moving. We are energy. We move all the time. We honor the need for sleep. Because sleep is, is where a gazillion other things occur. And, and if I go into what sleep presents right now, I'd be here for another hour. So I'm not going to do that. Um Sleep's very important um, for the integration process of all of these existences, all of these beings, all of our realities, and to flip the wake and the sleep state and to walk on new earth in the physical, the lucid dream, if you will, heaven on earth, all of those things come from inside, and then you're walking in them, but the recognition of what is takes total presence, total awareness at every moment, everything. Yeah, I know it froze. Apologies. Of everything, 360 degrees, this becomes your energy, your field, and it expands out until it's a whole house, until it's a whole radius and a block. And you're choosing what's in your world, and you're removing everything that isn't in alignment not because you're being cold, but because that which it represents isn't ready yet. Doesn't operate at a frequency that is open and willing and contributing and being a part of the new. There are many that still need to go experience many, many, many things to get this. And we honor that. And that's okay. But you know what? We can help them. Any way that we have available to us. We share. We open up. Um, we don't have to shut down anymore and make it an either or. It can be all things. And everybody will float out and come back in and float out and come back in and float out and go off and do their own thing. And, and that's beautiful. Meanwhile, you're busy. Meanwhile, you're busy. You're working. You're sleeping. You're doing what you need to do. Because as gatekeepers, as way showers, it's all inside that there are you your pillar of light runs up and down your center column the gates um, as a gatekeeper are inside your body and some people will go do it outside others do it inward we all are always doing both every one of us are way showers every one of us are gatekeepers every one of us is just the difference how much we dedicate to what um so it's important to understand because the, I see a lot of one person is better than another or one person knows more than another. That's not what this is about. This is about sharing everything we have access to. This is about everything that we all hold. Everybody has something to offer. It's your experiences, your knowledge, your understandings. And how you transform all into light. How you transcend it. That experience. How you've opened up. 
and how much you love from the inside out. When you share that, when you share your story from a place of love to empower others to understand that there's nothing wrong with them. This is the way it works. You help another one. And if you judge your journey as not being good enough or you're judging yourself as not being able to say it the right way, you're caught up in human and you're judging and you're stopping yourself from sharing with others that are waiting to hear that. They need that. So open up, share with others and pay attention to where you're comparing something better than another or, or deciding what's better for anything. Use every bit of it, all of it. That's what we're here for. This is what creates change. And where you have the capability, get in there with every part of you, every part of your being, with your heart. You have to hear, see, feel, honor, respect, love with every cell and fiber of your being. You don't get to do it with just one part of you anymore. That is what this is about. These new frequency bandwidths do not allow for partial existence as a human aspect anymore. It requires all of our aspects merging as one. And this physical body is your vessel. And it is upgrading huge. And everything within it that was density is being activated to come up and out. So that you can walk in a different frequency bandwidth altogether. 3D, 4D, 5D Earth, whatever words you want to use. We went way beyond 5D a long time ago. 60, 70, 8D, 90, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And in consciousness, we go way up. Uh, I think uh, 16, 17, 18, 19. We're gone from there. And, and the beauty is we can maintain this space of consciousness and maintain all of these vibrational frequencies and these energies all the time that we're willing to commit ourselves to this so we don't have to contract down into that little world anymore we'll do it for a moment figure out what's going on and we'll expand right back and sometimes are more intense than others because there's a lot of stuff to work through something will present in our world that we need to clean up our own front yard that we have to clear out that we have to come back to love we work the energy out and we're back again so i hope this helps you let go of all of the comparisons and who's better, who's right, wrong, and embrace everything, all of it. This is what I do. I embrace all of it. I bring it all in. I bring in the quantum physics and the and scientific and the a little bit of it all because there is not one way. The 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 divine pure essence and and the understanding and knowledge is all of it. A little bit of all of it. We're alchemists. We're, we're creators. And yes, we are Christed beings and we are gods. It is all of these things merged into one. And that outside world shows us what's inside of us. And where we are open and where we're love or where we're not. And that's what we do is we use the outside world to see ourselves. We use the outside world to understand and we get busy and we help everybody out there. I don't like help, but I used it. We assist and guide everybody out there to be able to do the same thing too. Because everybody standing in their own space of pure divine essence responsibility for what's going on. The human aspect doesn't want to take responsibility. They want to point the finger or they want to believe they don't have the power or they still lack respect and integrity for all things as one inside. And we don't here. As a higher self aspect, everything is sacred. Everything is honor. Everything is love. There is not anything less than that in our world anymore. And if it is, we have a choice to make of what we're going to allow and what we're going to participate in and how we're going to act because that alone activates portals. That opens up the other dimensions and realities and everything to come forth to be in our world here. So I hope this helps uh, and assists and guides uh, anything that might be going on. All polarities are going to be present. Everything is. The difference is, is how the journey is done.
and there is it's always going to be more and your vessel you are number one while um, working to make a difference working to share working to open up working uh, we work a lot here um, so I will say thank you I love you and I apologize uh, I'm working on it and I stopped doing videos because of my sound card video card issue on this brand new computer I bought and um, in the meantime um, pay attention to what's going on with these, you because if you require the outside world show you proof it will your higher self will say you're not willing to go inward yet let's give you a little bit of proof we moved away from that a really long time ago this is about honoring ourself as higher self aspects and that comes from the inside out through our hearts the rest supports that the rest activates that the rest assists that so open up loves and show yourself and realize you got a lot of work to do uh, every one of us gatekeepers um, crystal grid keepers way showers higher selves all of these things we already are we're coming back to this in every moment um, it never was anywhere else it was all inside so this is where we have to go and we utilize everything else to show us we learn how to hear see feel with every part of us so I love you I will see many of you on the upcoming uh, live events and courses and I appreciate all who are responding with their um, love and gratitude for the work that I share in the books and the courses and the events and it, it's an honor for me each time I connect with you and I love it it's been amazing later lately some of the exchanges that we have been having and they just keep getting better by the moment so mahalo i love you have an amazing everything and i shall talk to you soon